All right, we have returned. I am recording right now. Yeah, I already fight these guys already. And now we got a new ability. Awesome, powerful sword combat. They easily take out our enemies. And Jake is taking a lot of hits. Mm. All right, time for the spinning time. Oh, Jake. A bit of gameplay in this video, guys. Hiya! Mm. I gotta admit, this is actually the funnest part of this game. I like how they get all these abilities from the show. I'll have to make this an uh, interesting, fun gameplay. He's going. Time to end this. Mm. Oh, you can dash attack too. What a great way to start the game. Now we got Root Sword. Because we fight these guys several times. Now we get their Chad's house. These paintings really brighten up the room. There's a paper here. Ooh, it's a note from Peppermint Butler. The note has a picture of a candle holder. and says something about a secret room. What secret room? Oh. I know what that is, since I've played this game before. And there's a random crack and roll that's glitching up. What a mess! Alright. A book of matches. Yeah, those will be useful. Alright, now we can use the matches to enter that secret room. Oh, I'm sorry. Spoiler alert. Anyhow, let's go in and use the matches to light up the candles. This time this gameplay will be a bit shorter, since I have to start the game of combat. That's not at all creepy. There, there's Chet. Uh, Chet? What's going on? He's too stunned to talk, man. My investigative mind has figured out what happened. Obviously, Peppermint Butler was kidnapped from this room, and whoever it was didn't care about Chet. So, what were Chet and Peppermint Butler even doing in this creepy room? I don't know, man. They're candy people. I don't get candy people sometimes. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, Chet looks pretty comfortable. I guess we should just leave him here. Let's keep investigating. Or on tie him. There's also a snake here. That's just there, and two alligators. <laughs> I don't even want to know why Chet is hanging upside down in this creepy room. Oh yeah, and there's a sweeping owl. Weird book. Kind of Enchiridion-ish. Only creepy. This must be Abracadaniel's cake plate! It sure kind of looks like a record player. I don't even want to know why Chet is hanging upside down in this creepy room. I do, but I do remember how one of the episodes go, so yeah. No time for that. Let's get going. Let's go ahead and hand, hand this item to Africa Danielle. We've got your cake plate, and we know how to get out of here. You ready? Yes! Party time! Um, he knows it's not a party, right? Shh, don't tell him. Look, he's so excited just to be included. He's standing right there, guys. Let's talk to him. 
Daniel looks anxious to get to his party. We should go. All right, here we go. One, two, three, go. Wizard City, here we go. I love the images they all put on the later on this game too. Here we are, Wizard City. First thing we should do is go to that Ron James guy's shop. He might be able to. Abra Daniel, you are guilty of sharing wizard secrets. No, wait, I heard. Wizards only, fools. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh great, we now have to fight these guys. This will not be too difficult. Dash attack. Take that. Catapony time. Well, throwing some rocks or bombs, I guess. I'm just... Targeting these guys as it goes. Oh, they're just spike balls. All right, spinning time. I love Finn's reaction there. Anyhow, let's continue the like gameplay. Alright, Cuber. Sometimes you have to put two things together to make something new that can help you gravel your way through a puzzle into a puzzle. You can combine items with Jake the same way. Sometimes you need to do this when Jake can't gravel something on his own. Right. They've changed Africa Daniel into a stick or a wand or something. Well, could have been worse. He will turn to a lipstick. Yoink! It's too high. Well, I know what we'll do. Alright, do your thing, Jakey. Alright, we're in. Hey, hold it, you two. Uh oh, Finn. I don't want to be a stick. Don't worry, I'll handle this. Afternoon, Wizpo dude. What can we do for you? I don't know if anyone's ever mentioned it, but Wizard City is wizards only, fools. I'm gonna have to see proof that you're magical in nature. So, Africa Daniel won. Well, you got this. That's a stick, kid. A stick. You better show me something magical pronto. Okay. Then the sh cake well, plate. Well, I got this cake plate. Whoa! That's, that's the disc of ultimate wizardry. Only the most powerful wizards in Ooh are allowed to carry it. The disc hasn't been seen since the potluck of the Great Wizard Council a decade ago. Cake Blade. Ha! The most powerful wizards always have the best sense of humor. Um, yeah. So, like, we can go in? Of course! The bearer of the disc of ultimate wizardry and his friends are always welcome. Enjoy your stay! Thanks! Come on, Jake. Let's find Ron James's shop and see if he can help us get to the bottom of this kidnapping case. All right, finally. Hmm. There's a hole. Looks like the one that staff over there is stuck in. There's more to that hole than meets the eye. Let's keep looking. Here's a mop. Gotcha. It fits, 
but it doesn't do anything. Yeah, we have to do something about that. A lot of notes here. Too much work to read all of them. All right, there's a line here. Let's talk to this rock wizard guy. Sup, rock wizard? Uh, hey, no coming in line. Chill, man. We're just talking. Why are you standing in line? Ron James only sees one person at a time, and the guy who's in there now has been here all day. So, what do you need from Ron James? Some mysterious amulet of power? Fire breathing potion? Cool new wand? Skin moisturizer? Well, I'm just saying. Actually, I am here for a potion that will let me grow a beard. Come again now? All of the best wizards have impressive beards. I want an impressive black beard that will be the envy of wizards far and wide. So, if Jake and I get you a beard, you'd let us take your spot in line? Ha <laughs> ha, certainly. And impressive black beards don't just fall out of the sky. If you stand around waiting for one, I know, I've tried that. Don't sweat it, Rock Wizard. We'll find you that beard. Come on, Finn. By the way, the last time I played this game, I already did the achievements. Such a reality, you're not seeing much of achievements. Also, I see a bit of poster of Ice King and the other wizards saying wizard battle. It won't work without money. A vending machine that sells crowbars. Weird. A vending machine that sells crowbars. Weird. Okay, that's all I can say. Let's try a sword, even though it's not gonna work. I shouldn't go around wrecking stuff. Let's see him. Let's go down here in this alleyway. Hmm. Somebody left a perfectly good bottle up there. Let's see if Jake can reach it. Jake won't want to touch that used bottle, and he can't put me on the scaffolding. It's too weak to hold my weight. Right. Wow. That pile of bricks up there looks heavy. I can't get it. Okay, how about Jake? That scaffolding won't hold me plus all the weight that's on it. Why don't we find some other way to get the bricks onto the ground? Come on, you can't stretch there? All the scaffolding would fall if we took out the support. I don't think so. If I try that, the scaffold will land on me. Uh-huh. Yeah, all right, we can't do that either. Or can't da go down there either because the game cannot... Let us program down there. So let's try this other way. And I already know what's going to happen next. Yep, a battle time. By the time we fight these guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Take care of this evil cube. Oh, that's alive for some reason. Yeah, eat it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah, come on. All right, come on. Come on, take this. I just know there's gonna be more than these guys. And he hit me. All right, come on. Mmm. Mm. Alrighty, come on. <laughs> Spinning time again. Oh yeah. Ho 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 ho. -ho. Yep, and as usual, I'm going to wrap this up. And there's a gnome up there. You stink. Oh, shut up. Alright, I'm going to end it here, and it says, Wizard's Drool. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video. And it's already going to be 15 minutes in. And I already got this far into the gameplay, so... 
Glad you enjoyed me play this game really this far in. So, see ya!